Hi everybody and uh, welcome aboard. Uh, this is the first part of the tutorial how to work with the photo editor application. This application right here, photo editor, uh, was developed by a guy by the name or nickname MacGyver. It's available unfortunately only for Android devices at the moment. You can find it of course in the Google uh, Play Store. Again, right here, photo editor. Um, this is, uh, as I said, it's only the first part. It's kind of introduction to the uh, really great, great, great application. I would call it a little Photoshop si since it has uh, so many uh, nice features that you can uh, work with and manipulate your images, your photos. Uh, it's only the first part and it's very essential. We will not talk today about uh, all the uh, filters and the uh, pro features that this uh, application offers us. We will do it later on with the second and the third part of the tutorial. Uh, a quick note before we actually start. My English is not my, my native language so I apologize in advance for any misunderstanding that you might have. Um, you can email me if you have any questions. As I said before, I'm not a developer. I am just uh, uh, someone who enjoys to uh, run uh, and work with uh, this photo editor. And I decided uh, to try helping other people working with this. It's a very friendly and uh, very easily uh, used application but still there are a few things that you uh, need to dig very deep in order to know how to work with. Uh, so if you want to email me please feel free. This is uh, uh, my email nitsi at 013.net.il um, Okay, so let's start. Um, by the way, I'm using uh, a screencast application or actually screen screencast uh, emulator in order to record this tutorial, so we might uh, experience some delay uh, during this uh, uh, visual guide. That's how it works. Okay, so let's hit, let's hit the photo editor and uh, this is the main screen that will uh, uh, that opens the application. Choose a photo from a gallery. Okay. Uh, second, use your uh, own camera with your own device to take picture and start working immediately. Uh, regular file browser, you can go inside and choose photo if you prefer to work that way. New, you can actually create a new layout. Uh, this is the default dimensions. Uh, there, is, there is a specific reason why we want to create new new layout. As I said, we will talk about it uh, later on. Okay, batch. You can actually go and uh, choose, add images. Choose few images. Uh, for example, I will take one, two, and three, these three images that I've been choosing, uh, click the done. And now you can uh, go to task and for the moment only few uh, options are available with the batch uh, process. For example, uh, choose the auto contrast, just choose it. Um, don't bother to uh, to change any from the settings right here. Uh, click the OK and you will get a warning that batch job can take a lot of time. Are you uh, ready? A lot of time can take between 30-45 seconds up to even uh, 2 minutes. So up to you. I will choose right for, it for the moment cancel. Okay. Uh, and the last one, the last option that you have uh, uh, once you open the application is uh, go to the recent photos few photos that you were uh, you have been working lately okay 
so I will choose uh, one image from uh, my gallery okay let's go right here and uh, let's choose the kids photo okay so this is actually the main screen um, let's talk about it as I said before it's an only introduction the uh, most interesting part and the most usable parts are the it's the button menu right here you can scroll it left to right as you probably can see and uh, we will talk about uh, each option uh, later on in the future uh, tutorial that I will prepare but for the moment let's start with the uh, top menu uh, right here you can find uh, uh, the settings uh, about photo editor for example if you go to photo editor about and go to translators you can find oops uh, about photo editors translators and you can find uh, all the languages that win uh, that have been translated um, by the way if you uh, wish to help this guy MacGyver to translate send him an email and uh, you will be able to do it just as I did it right here uh, Hebrew yes this is me Nitzan Gertz okay enough with the ego <laughs> okay uh, so if you enter into the settings uh, not much for you to do to do here to change the settings um, for example you can set uh, the maximum zoom right here uh, up to even 1000 it's not necessary of course since the uh, size of the screen is uh, too small so I would suggest that you leave everything the way it is uh, if you scroll to the bottom you'll see that there is a paid version uh, which allows you to work with no uh, advertisement um, the application is uh, completely free uh, other than the uh, bottom advert uh, advertisement uh, I would highly recommend of course if you can uh, purchase it I believe it's something like uh, well I'm not sure okay uh, let's get out of the settings right here you can find the percentage of the enlargement uh, go for example for 200 percent and see how big it gets so there is really not uh, any sense to enlarge it to even 400 percent let's choose the 100 percent and fit okay here you will uh, see the size of the photo that you've been taking uh, if you go down to the bottom menu and scroll it to the left mm, where is it okay you will see right here the resize uh, fit and this is the uh, actual size of the photo that were taken by the camera I'm using uh, LG Nexus 4 which has the 8 uh, megapixel camera this is the highest quality uh, and this is the dimensions 8 megapixels this is the uh, actual pixel dimensions and 23% shows you that let's, let me show you if you go to 100% you see it will change to 100% so w once you fit it it's actually 23% of the uh, uh, viewable size anyway uh, there is no sense at all to use the highest quality setting of your camera if you only want to share it with uh, uh, Instagram or any other sharing application it's only for reviewing purposing so don't set your camera to the highest quality uh, the highest quality the heaviest photo that you will get and the slower process time uh, with this application or actually with any other application if you uh, anyway have this picture with uh, the highest quality what I would do is just reduce the size as I'm doing right now 4 5 megapixel should be definitely enough even if you want uh, to print it in the future go to the uh, top menu and click the V uh, green button okay 
by the way if you don't like what you have ju just have done you can also you can uh, always go backwards hit the backwards and if we uh, go again to resize fit we kept the uh, original dimensions okay I will reverse it back to the uh, 5 megapixel okay so uh, uh, here there is a, a info regarding the photo uh, including geo tag and uh, all the other necessary uh, information you can scroll and see really too much information for me enjoy if you prefer to have a look okay BG uh, border and or grid disable or enabled have a look border grid disable I'll click it again and we we'll get the uh, border enabled click it again and we'll see grid enabled we will talk about it uh, later on not now um, right here you can go back to your gallery camera file browser new whatever okay um, once you're done with your uh, manipulation uh, you uh, will be asked to save the photo right here and here there are some uh, nice uh, options um, you can save it to the gallery of course or immediately share it with uh, uh, any uh, sharing application set it as a wallpaper save it to an external SD if you have one in your device or override override means that you if you have an open an uh, uh, image from the gallery and you decide to override it it will actually replace the picture in the gallery so beware before you uh, uh, do it uh, usually I suggest I would suggest to save it in the gallery once you save it in the gallery image uh, has been saved successfully and if you go backwards to the gallery let's go to my quick pick gallery and you can see um, a folder by the name of photo, photo editor all picture uh, being saved to this folder okay let's go back to the uh, application hmm. let's use uh, a different photo for the moment okay so if you go back to the save option um, <coughs> you can uh, set uh, decide actually if you save it as a JPEG or as a PNG um, not much different here PNG uh, support uh, using transparencies we'll talk about it later uh, what you probably would like to do is just save the JPEG quality to the highest uh, level possible 100% once you set it it will uh, remain the way it is um, okay I believe we've covered the, the in setup the uh, initially setup uh, again the most interesting uh, useful features of the application are at the bottom right here um, let's you know what let's just choose effect go to uh, auto tune okay click the approve it and let's see the result this is after we've applied the, the auto tune let's go one step backward and this is the original photo hopefully you are able to uh, see the difference and again once we are done uh, go back to the save option I will save it to the gallery and again image has been saved successfully okay guys that's uh, all for today um, I remind you again 
if you would like to uh, uh, ask me questions you are more than welcome to send me an email again this is my email and uh, remember this application was developed by MacGyver and credit uh, must go to him okay guys take uh, care bye bye